Cool. So I use two other structures for how you could do it with friends and family. One is you do a joint venture. So simple enough. You just say, so Chris, you and me could do a joint venture. You say, I, you know, I just tell you, Hey, Chris, I got this amazing deal over here in, in the UK. You want to diversify your portfolio. If you give me $500,000, I'll buy us this property. We'll split the cash flow 50, 50. But if we ever sell or refinance, you get your 500,000 before I do, but I'll take care of everything. You don't have to think about it. It's completely passive for you. That's a decent deal, right? Yeah, it sounds You wouldn't good. have bought anything in the UK without me. Well, you probably would, but most people wouldn't. Um, and, you know, so you're, you're getting access to a property, that, a deal that you probably never would. And your return is probably going to beat the stock market anyway, because properties generally break the stock market. Don't, if you invest in the stock market, I apologize, but that's just the numbers for you. Generally, oh, no, I, you have I, a higher I, total I, return. I do invest in the stock market, but very different than what you're thinking. I, I don't believe in the stock market for a long term. Yeah, no, it's, it's a very different type of investment, but most investors will get more money investing with you that way. So for them, it's a great deal. But what happens if the deal doesn't go according to plan? Well, that investor can't call you and say, Daniel, you now owe me money because you don't. You're a joint venture. You're in the deal together. Now, that does require very good communication. You know, if things start to go sideways, you can't hide it. You have to tell them it's about honesty the whole way through. They are literally your partner. So you got to treat them that way. Now they're the, they are the silent partner, but they still have to be an updated partner. And that's really important. So that's one way of doing it. Now, a lot of my students go like, well, am I giving away control? I don't, I want to own it. It's mine. And, and that's fine. I'm very happy giving away control. I'm happy taking 20, a 20% cut of a, you know, hundred million pound deal. We're, we're actually looking at one now and my ownership will be maybe 15, 20%. And I'm pretty okay with that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, but a lot of people, they want to have it for themselves and that's fine too. You can build your own legacy, your own fund, your own control, and that's fine. So what I would recommend doing is either you do the joint venture and you add an opt out clause where you say at any point, Chris, I can give you your $500,000 back and we're done, you will have gotten cash flow to that point, and then it's over. Or we might even add a premium, and I say, I have to give you 550. Mm-hmm. But that way, I can wait till the property appreciates in value, refinance, and give you your money, and then I'm, I'm free. I have the property.